Eureka, Eureka. It's a curious sight, isn't it? How did he end up in such a situation? To understand, we must travel back to the grand palace of King Hero II in ancient Syracuse. The king sat on his ornate throne, holding a magnificent golden crown, a gift crafted to honor the gods. But despite its beauty, the king was troubled. A nagging doubt haunted him. Was the crown truly made of pure gold, or had the goldsmith mixed it with cheaper metals and betrayed his trust? Destroying the crown to uncover the truth was out of the question. The king needed answers, but without ruining the crown's perfection. Enter Archimedes, the kingdom's brilliant mathematician and inventor, known for solving the impossible. The king turned to him, explaining the dilemma and asking for his help. Archimedes, always up for a challenge, promised to find a way. Days passed, and the problem consumed his thoughts. He tried to think of every possible method to test the crown's purity without damaging it, but nothing seemed to work. The tension built as the solution eluded him. Then, one ordinary day, as Archimedes prepared to take a bath, he stepped into the tub and noticed the water rise. Suddenly, it hit him, a way to measure the crown's composition without destroying it. The amount of water displaced by the crown would reveal if it was pure gold or a mix of metals. Overwhelmed with excitement, Archimedes forgot everything else. He jumped out of the bath, not even stopping to dress, and ran through the streets shouting, Eureka! Eureka, which means, I have found it.